Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hatfield IT. Today we're going to be looking at a common thing that I'm sure all of you have encountered, uh, having old local administrator accounts on your computers. Uh, this is especially common and bothersome when you have a machine that's joined to a domain and the local administrator accounts that were on that were on that machine still exist. Um, these are accounts that have literally the ability to do anything. You can those local accounts can log into domain profiles and take ownership of them. They can do a lot of things. So uh, making sure you have restrictions on those accounts is extremely important to maintain security in your network. So today we're just going to be looking at how we can remove them. So uh, on my screen here, uh, this is a Windows 10 machine uh, running version 1909. And uh, we'll kind of just jump right in and see how we can locate these accounts and how we can remove them. We'll also go into details on how to create a group policy to eliminate these accounts and specify what an account that you want to have local administrator rights. So in one scenario, what we do for the company I work for is whenever we join a machine to a domain, we have uh, we go in and we add a local administrator account that only we have the password to. Um, while this is good and bad, in depending on your viewpoint, it's extremely useful when a machine loses domain trust or an application requires local administrator rights. So let's just jump right in. And let's take a look. This is a, like I said, this is a fresh computer. Just spun up the image. We're running on VMware Workstation. And we're on a, a quick domain I have set up. It's just a single server with domain controller and this single computer. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, there's so many different ways now to get to this control panel um, option. I do it the standard way. I guess what I say with the standard way, go into control panel. Um, Windows 10, you lost the functionality, but you can just search at the bottom here for control panel and pops up, click on user accounts and user accounts and manage user accounts. And we'll go under the advanced options and advanced user management. We'll see local users and groups. We'll hit advanced there. Now let's expand out users. And get rid of this action pane and you'll see here this is the account that when I first set up this computer I was required to make an account in order to set up Windows this is that account and you can see here that this is a member of the local administrator account any account that you when you set up a box set up a computer out of the box whatever account you set up when you turn on that computer will be a member of administrators so now this is kind of bothersome in the fact that I could log on with this account and access ev since I will be a local administrator I can access every person's documents so what we what we could do is we can go in here and we can just delete this account we can change the password we could remove it as an administrator we can do a lot of different things um, but today we're going to be looking at how we can remove them once and for all and the most effective way is going to be to do that through group policy. So I'm going to switch over to our Windows Server here. And let's go ahead and get logged in. <laughs> I can get my own password, right? All right, uh, as I mentioned before, an effective way to remove your users from being local administrators is making a group policy object and applying it to an OU that you for your computers. So let's, I've already pinned the, uh, these shortcuts here, but you can either access some start menu by scrolling down and under um, Windows Administrative Tools, and you'd see Group Policy Management. Let's 
go ahead, we'll want to expand out force, the domain, and we have our local domain here. Now let's go ahead and we'll right click on our domain, we'll create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And let's give this domain a name, we'll call it um, local admin. Go ahead, we will go ahead and hit local admin, go to edit, right click, go to edit. And let's expand this out here. And we'll go to computer configuration, preferences, control panel settings, local users and groups. And we will go ahead and right click in the this window. Go to all tasks and add. We'll keep the action as update. And the group name will be administrators built in. I don't know why these aren't alphabetical, but uh, we'll go administrators here. And we'll delete all member users and delete all member groups. This will ensure that all pre-existing local, local administrator accounts are, are deleted. And now what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll add a member, whatever account we want to add. So let's, before we do this, let's go into, let's go into Active Directory. And we will just make ourselves a quick little account. Go new user. Call it John Hatfield with a lock on name of Jay Hatfield. Alright, so let's go in here and we will add this new account. And add to group. And let's apply this policy. And hit OK. So just to recap, what we'll do is we created a group policy object that's going to set as update and anyone who's a member of the administrator's built-in account is going to get deleted all groups and all users will be deleted and then it's going to add this account as a local as a local administrator account on the on all systems in that OU so let's go ahead we'll hit okay so now that this is done let's switch back to our workstation here Get my home password right again. So here we have this user account, John, and let's see what happens if we were to run a group policy update. So let's right click on the start button. We'll go up to PowerShell, or some of you may have command prompt here. Both will work for this command. And we'll just do a gp update slash force. Let's go ahead and we'll go in here and let's refresh this. Let's see our user here is a member of nothing. If we go and you'll see here that Jay Hatfield is a member of the administrator account. And that's it. Now every computer, depending on which OU that you link this group policy object to, every computer will not have this. So if you have a user account that you need 
to have local access to every system in the company or in a particular OU, this is the way to do that. And at the same time, it will remove any pre-existing access that anyone else may have. Well, that does it for today's video. And please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.